the golden summer line. What's the other? What's the other? What's the other? I got you one. I got you one. Give me the play for the little pledge. Oh, you can hear the dogs barking outside in excitement for this toy. But, uh, let me be honest and let me be frank with you or Jimmy or whoever you want to call me. I am not a big fan. Oh, you can hear the booing from miles away. But, to be honest, I'm here to tell you guys, personally, that this is not my favorite toy out of the entire Transformers Prime era. Oh! Ah, oh, I mean, it's a shockwave remote. Ah, oh, I love my shockwave. So, um, you know, as a toy, as a character, he's a, he's a douche. Anyways, so, here's the toy bludgeon in all his, let's say, glory. And, you know, he looks good. He looks the part. As a, as a toy that can be displayed upon for your Cyberverse collection, I mean, he is good and all. As a toy, as what are the kids calling it, a child's plaything? No, it's not that great. It's got a nice Decepticon logo on the top there. I'm sure that children will love that. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> so, what do I have to complain about this? Well, let's go over the pros. Okay, I like the colors, the black, the orange, and the green. They look good for this figure. I thought the green was going to be a little bit darker, but it's fine. He does have some silver on the top here, which is weird because all this is like that dull Hasbro gray plastic. And, um, you know, th these look like they're more higher up than the Voyager. I don't care. It's fine. I mean, it is a Cyberverse figure. It's not going to be perfect. But, um... Overall, it looks good. You can see that the front of this has been remolded, and that will, of course, become the chest. And, uh, overall, it looks good. I'm not complaining about its overall look. However, it's its design that I don't like. These legs are not plugged into anything. There's a little tab that just barely holds it into place. But, yeah, that happened. In case you didn't see it. Ah, oh, the legs... They're not really that loose, they're actually quite tight for ball joints, but... <sighs> I don't like it. You can't fire the missile! You just push on the top here, and then it goes boom, and the whole toy explodes, apparently. And you can see his head. Hello! Hello! I've come to destroy your Bing Bang! So, yeah. That, that, that's a thing! Uh, and I don't know if it's a thing of beauty, but it's a thing. And the missile is just one of those push-fire thingy missiles of death and despair. Now, let's go through the instructions because there's something in here that I'd like to mention. The instructions have lied to me. They're liars. They've lied to me constantly. Uh, but, um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. You can see the Star Saber of Blood and stuff. Hooked onto the side. So, naturally, you think there's a post or a hole to plug in the little sword. Okay, let's try that. Nope, there is no hole. The best thing you can do is push the gun. Oh my god, it's just falling apart in my hand. Oh, so. You know, push the gun, forward, thingy, and then put it inside that. And we'll just barely hold the sword. But that looks stupid, doesn't it? So, what I normally do is I plug the sword onto the hand in the bottom. And sure, the sword is sticking out, but, you know... You can make the Autobot smaller by chopping the feet. Anyways! Robot mode. So here's Bludgeon in his robot mode, and the chest and the head is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the look of it. Even with the gun, which is kind of weird, you know, you can make it out as a shield or something. Ooh, I thought of that. Ooh. So, 
overall really cool. I like the remolding on the chest and the head. Yes, it looks nice. However, there are a few complaints. It does look good and all. However, the feet are so damn loose. Ah, like you just place them down and watch. Sure, you can be more careful with that, but I feel like I'm not supposed to. You know, a normal figure, you just do that and it will stand or maybe it will topple over, but that's because of the mold of the feet. I mean, he does have big feet. And you know what they say about big feet? Big shoes. So, yeah, but obviously it's not that great. I mean, you can do this and it's fine, but yeah, I don't like that. And also another thing that I don't like, the sword. Uh, it's just ugly. I don't like it. You know, I get that it's the Star Saber, but uh, it just doesn't look good. I get the red, but I would much rather see a silver version of the sword that came with Cyberverse Megatron. I mean, th this sword is just ugly. So what do I do? Well, with cardboard, a, what are those, cotton swab thingies, some paint, some glue, and your own imagination, you can make a new sword. That's just as crappy, but I like it more. So, yeah. I do like the shoulder articulation. I like how this piece is separate than the shoulder. I actually like that because it gives you more motion. Not really this way, but still, overall, we can't be perfect in your perfect little world. And that's what it is. It's not perfect, of course. And it does have its flaws, like everyone else. But it's not really a bad figure. So, you know, even with the crappy sword, I mean, it, it doesn't look too bad. I just, I hate the sword and I hate the legs. So let's go on to the overall review. So overall, do I highly recommend Transformers Prime Legend? Give it a different sword and yeah, I mean, the legs are kind of crappy, but they could be worse. I say he's not arachnid bad, nor he even does he come close, but he's definitely not perfect by any standards, and that's sad coming from a shockwave moment. I love me some shockwaves. So anyways, that is pretty much it. I hope this review has informed you in all the informity and i'll see you guys next time i'm the canadian here i'm going to eat some bacon lego bacon